Good morning, good evening, good night. Wherever you may be watching this transmission, it is I, Mike Martins, bringing you a very important uh, transmission of uh, gold, not so shiny. What's happening with gold, guys? Gold is really taking a kick in the pants. I'll tell you straight off, I don't even have to read anything. I didn't even pick up. All I saw this morning was I was in deep red, just blood red this morning. Everything, like 23 stocks, all blood red and strong blood red quite down a bit today and I don't even have to read it I already know it's it, it, the US dollar must be soaring or the US dollar must be going up so we're going to find out here what's going on okay uh S&P TSX uh, sitting uh at uh, down 5 points market's going to be closing in about 5 minutes uh the S&P 500 is doing a, is is doing it's up 17 points Dow's up 141 Canadian to the US dollar is ticking around 75 cents oil down to $54 a barrel we're going to see $51 oil very soon. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin uh, uh, just scaving around the 10,000 Canadian would be 9,000 and 9,600 and change, I guess, US. Gold features sitting at 1480. And that's what I want to look at right now, guys, the gold features. And spot gold is down and it's retracted $26 and 2630 on spot ounce and that is quite a kind of a big deal for all the silver and gold bugs out there and i've been promoting gold and silver it's the real currency it's the real way to play the game when it comes to ups and downs so let's go is is gold resources uh is gold resource corporations ceo overpaid relative to its peers no we don't care about that we want to find out what's going on with the gold market so I am blood red down. I am down quite a bit today. Uh, it's fine. There's the ups and downs. I've made my ups. I've cleared a bit of profit here and there. Uh, it's not like I lost all, you know what I mean? But it's down. And let's look at it in the last 24 hours here. Let's see if we can open this interactive chart. Site cannot be reached. All right. So what's going on? Gold uh, price headed to 2000 Here's the timeline according to the CEO. So when was this? This is today's date. So they posted this today when gold went down pretty much 30 bucks. All right, let's find out. Uh, so this is from Kitco News. I follow Kitco too. Gold has risen faster than anticipated, but fundamentals still leave room for price growth, said Nolan Watson, CEO of uh, Sandstorm Gold. I think that the, I think all the fundamentals are still backing it in massive way and i would say for the first time in my life i'm willing to say something along those lines of two or three years from now gold will be over two thousand an ounce so two or three years from now is a long wait for a lot of gold and silver bugs that are looking to cash in to make some sort of a, a profit right um so guys this is just a, a, a disclaimer there so guys just so you know um we are not an investment channel. We don't have any, um, let's see what he says here. So I've, I've gotten a lot better at hiding what I actually feel about the gold price for at least six to 12 months. So that uh, I think January was the first time I ever said it publicly what right. I was thinking. So how do you feel today, September? Yeah, I feel a little bit mixed. I think that the gold price has gone up a little bit faster than I thought it was going to. Even when I said I'm feeling good, I think gold's going up back in January. I was thinking it was going to go up a little bit slower than this. So I think all of the fundamentals are still backing it in a massive way. And I would say for the first time in my life, I'm I'm willing to say something along the lines of two to three years from now, gold will be over $2,000 an ounce. Not, wow. not it might be, it may be, it will. Very be. bullish call from Nolan but, Watson. But I wouldn't. That's why I wanted to play this. Nolan Watson is very respectful, very respectful. So is Gerald Salente. So is Peter Schiff. Because they understand it's not that they're invested in gold and they want it to go up. It's not that I'm invested in gold and want it to go up. It's not even that. It's the fact of the matter is, like he said, all the fundamentals are pointing to it. Everything is pointing to these indications. And if you pick up a basic uh, understanding business and the gold markets and stuff, all the manipulation that's been going on, all the spoofing, all the garbage that's going on, and banks being too big to jail. Yeah, uh, uh, it, nothing should be the way it is. If we go by textbook, uh, b basic business knowledge that we were taught when we were in high school, it shouldn't be where it is right now. It should be at two, three, four thousand dollars an ounce with the amount of money we have printed off the fiat currency and the quantitative easing and 
the banks deleveraging. I think you know, guys, this is this is. Uh, I think this is this is the pullback to scare investors to sell off. I ain't selling crap. I even picked up more this morning because I ain't selling nothing. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if we saw a bit of a pullback first, but it's it's going to go in the right direction. What, what? What's the path for that? Is it because you are seeing, uh, you know, currencies around the world just devaluing their currencies or negative interest rates in Europe, guys? Rush to negative interest rates. What's the drive here? Uh, it's it's negative interest. It's exactly what you just said. It's it's a theme that everybody understands. It's negative interest rates, which is crazy, by the way. Have you, I don't know if you've ever tried to explain negative interest rates to a lay person, let alone a business person. Right. Like, it just doesn't make sense lending someone money and right. paying them for the right to be right. able to lend it to them. It's, it's crazy. And so that's going on at the same time where even at these low interest rates, for the first time, we're seeing uh, signs of trouble in debt books. So yeah. not lots of bad debts out there. Lots of banks writing off bad debts, not writing off, but 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 on the books, putting on the books bad debts, knowing, like a good underwriter will look at a deal and say, this is going to default in three months. Why are we writing this deal for? Ah, we'll write it off later. That's that's the attitude. Not just the big banks, but a lot of the medium tier lenders. I know some, some uh, companies that are having softness in their books for the first time in a long time. And so even at these low interest rates, people are now struggling to make their debt payments. That's yeah. So I, 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 like I, like I said, even Lord Humunga said it. The Raven said it on the channel. Everyone said it on the channel. If you just go by the basic textbook of business and entrepreneur business and understanding business as a basic, with understanding the metals markets, understanding, um, just understanding the basic fundamentals of of metals, it's undervalued. This gentleman here, everyone's on on board. That's a really, really bad sign, and the only way you fix that is quantitative easing and printing of money and devaluation of currencies, and I don't know if it's going to take a year or three years, but it's going to happen. He's right. He's, he's dead to rights on that. He is Johnny on the spot. With He's Johnny on the spot. He's, he's ready. I'm ready too, and you know what? Something's going to have to give somewhere somehow, right? Let me turn off my ad blocker here for these, uh, these guys here. Turn it off. Refresh. Platinum gold slide as dollar soars. There you go. Uh, Palladium eases off record. I knew it. I knew the dollar was was upticking a bit over uh, the markets in Asia last night. Uh, platinum plunged more than five percent as gold shed two percent on May uh, on Monday on May on Monday, leading a sharp decline across the metals driven soaring dollar, which deficit hit uh, Palladium, giving up some gains for record rally. Saw it breach seventeen hundred. Silver did more than three percent to its lower in a more than a month. Spot palladium eased at 0.8% at 1,668.33 an ounce, having earlier touched a record of 1,771. Mm -hmm. The metals have risen more than 9% this month. Don't forget that, guys. And remember, uh, uh, we've metals have gone up 40% since 2008. So there is a strong fabrication demand, but a good part for the speculative demand from investors who expect prices to rise and also people who are getting out of gold and silver palladium because those prices are falling. Let them let them run. Run to the hills. Some of them shifting into palladium, said Jeffrey Christian, managing partner of CP, CPM Group. There's a lot of concern that uh, there isn't a lot of palladium around. Uh, part of that is people who own metal don't want to sell their current at current prices. They want to see how the price goes before they keep their profits. So people that own metal, they're not going to sell it at a loss or even when they know, like that gentleman said earlier, oh, by the year 2020 or 2021 or 2022, you're going to see a huge change because quantitative easing can only get you so far before you start buying back your own debts and then um, issuing negative interest rates. It becomes an absolute disaster. The price of palladium used mainly in emission and reducing cattle, uh, ca uh, ca catalysts for vehicles have risen 33% this year, nearly 9% this quarter, despite a weakening auto sector due to the tight supply. Elsewhere, uh, uh, so they're just talking about platinum and palladium here. Let's move on. Um, gold price is down 2%, but the bull market still is still alive, says analyst. So... The gold market starting a week uh, under pressure 2% as it has broken below critical support points. But according to one market analysis, the precious metal is still in healthy long-term bull market. 
in a report Friday, Fiorina German's gold market analysis, Midas Touch Consulting. You know, uh, King Midas is right. Everything you touch turned to gold, right? Warns that the short term with gold prices under critical support at 1,480 bearish traders are in control of the marketplace. He added uh, that investors need to keep an eye out for the next support level at 1450 and there is a chance that prices could fall as low as the summer's breakout at 1308 an ounce. So, however, he also said that investors should not give up on gold's rally just yet. Although the weekly chart is without question overbought, fundamentally, there is currently enough reasons for a continuation of the rally, he said. Indeed, in this context, even the... Uh, Variable gold rush in the markets is possible in the next three or four months. Grum said he sees a strong possibility that gold trading at around $1,800 announced by early next year. So we got a lot of people throwing their um, predictions in the hat. What's more, so it's sitting at right now, that's where it's sitting at right now. In, uh, in um, right there. So sitting at 1471 so it is down quite a bit today, but you know what, guys? Nobody, th nobody fret, nobody cry, nobody. Uh, silver's down to seventeen. Uh, pl uh, uh, platinum's down to eight eighty one. Uh, palladium is down uh, six bucks to sixteen fifty six. So, comment below in the comments. Nothing's normal. So our housing market's not normal. Our gold market isn't playing by the book. Our housing markets aren't playing by the book. Uh, nothing's being played by the book. We're, we're entering negative interest rate territory. We are lending money out to people. We've they've lent bad loan, bad debt out to people that can't pay it back. Credit card credit card defaults are on the rise. Automotive sector is down. I mean, I could go on for three days just talking about what's what's what you know should be hedging up the price of gold, but it's not. So, how much market spoofing is there really out there? Did we catch all the guys that got uh, that basically got prisoned, that went jailed, or were they the little the little guys at the bottom? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Gold is it still a shiny? Is it still good to invest in gold? Do you believe in gold still? Do you believe the shiny metal is undervalued? Let me know. Comment below. Thanks for watching.